actually, my name is Eagle Elk, but uh, there were two solid Eagle Elks. So uh, the only way they can tell them apart would be uh, uh, the first name and the uh, enrollment number. That's the only way they can tell them apart. So, uh, my uncle's check would come to my dad, and my dad would cash it. And I showed him my dad's check would go to my uncle, and he would cash it. You know? so I said, they said, uh, my grandfather, he said, uh, we got a name that no one else has in this uh, world. So we're going to change to that. That's where Wolf Gets comes in. Uh -huh. uh, OK, well, if that's what it's going to be, that's the way it'll be. So I'm enrolled at Rosebud. But you know, I've been lived in Ogallala since 1979. And uh, before that, off and on, I usually come to Wombly. You know. That's where my mother's from. So I always come back here. She says, get an education. You'll need it later on. You know? So I went to St. Francis Mission School for 10 years. And uh, after I came back, I, I didn't graduate. I didn't graduate. I was in the 11th, 11th grade when I, uh, I got uh, I enrolled as a uh, volunteer draftee. That's what I was. I was 18 and five months old when I went into service. Amelia Logan, she's from, uh, she's from uh, Bear Creek or Wombly. Went into service June 17th, 1942. That was uh, after my 18th birthday, five months I went into service. I was uh, in the 11th grade, and uh, 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 at that time, uh, December 7th was the year. Or so uh, uh, I said that. Hound, where, what at war, you know? And uh, uh, I'm gonna enlist. I'm gonna uh, volunteer, volunteer, enlist, enlist. Well, uh, why? Well, a lot of my buddies are in our service, and they're in Hawaii and somewhere in Alaska. And I, I want to join the service too. You know? So my serial number is 37128008. I and my buddy, uh, Ivor Crow Eagle, we went to the same camp in uh, Alabama, Camp Rucker, Alabama. At that time it was Camp Rucker, but now it's Fort Rucker. But uh, we went there in uh, June 17th, uh, 18th, 19th, and then we took our basic training there, both of us. But he was in a different company, and I was in a different company. But uh, one day, uh, uh, I was out to ranger training, out in the boondocks, uh, uh, tent, uh, tents and everything. We lived out in the boondocks. And uh, the general jeep drove into headquarters. And the first thing they said was, Clarence Wolfgets report to audio room right away. It's, in it's urgent. So I went. Well, now, what the heck did I do now? So I was kind of confused, you know, why the general jeep was there. I went over there and they said, you're Indian. Yes, I'm 100% Indian. Lakota Indian. I didn't say Sioux because we're not Sioux. They uh, gave us that name. Some other tribe gave us that name. So we're not Sioux. We're Lakota. The three dialects in South Dakota Nakota, Lakota, and Dakota. You know? And we used them all when we were 
overseas. There was four of us. Who were they? Can you name them? Uh, Ivor Crago, Roy Badhand, and uh, Benny Whitebear Sr. And me. There was four of us. But uh, uh, it was, this was a camp record. We used, uh, when we were in training, we used that uh, 284. But uh, you have to, you know, January that, you know, right. to keep it going. Right. And uh, uh, this 193 is run by the car battery, you know. It's running all the time. When we were uh, 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 taking training, we was in the car. And uh, uh, I went towards uh, the towns around uh, Alabama, Camp Lecrae. We went to town, and then uh, we called each other. Uh, fly trap and flavor. You know. uh, uh, the, in the Lakota language, that means you know, flavor, flavor is as tapi, you know, liver, just liver. And that's the code names that we use, me and Ivor. That time, uh, when we first started out, it, it was a little bit difficult, you might say. You know, we were in the Washitu uh, division, and lots of Washitus, and, and they talk, you know, the American slang. And, you know, uh, uh, we try to uh, uh, translate what they're saying, or what they're, you know? And uh, sometimes uh, we, can't, we couldn't do it. So uh, I'm Ivor. Chloe goes, man. All right, these uh, generals, uh, four star generals, three star generals, two star generals, one star generals, they all said, uh, the, confuse the enemy the best way you can, and we'll help you in any way that we can. You know? So, okay, we'll do that. We, you know, that's when the uh, Japanese were listening all the time to us. And we had three channels. We would turn, turn, to, uh, turn to the other channel. Umeshka Iaiwa. You know, work the, the channels and we, uh, switch over to the other one. But they still, they got the good direction finders. They're smart people. They're, they hunt for us. And uh, what do you say? What do you say? I don't know. They talk different. You know? That's when the code comes in. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I laughed at them. Some. That must have made them more angry at us. The Morse code, you know, at that time. You know, I studied this for a little while. But the mostly would be uh, uh, talking in the language, you know. And uh, I try to keep it as simple as possible, but sometimes it isn't simple at all. Specific. I was in Japan. Uh, uh, we was uh, occupation forces. That's what we were, 81st. Uh, division, Wildcat Division, they call us. And we were the occupation forces in Japan. And we went to Amori, uh, Hachinohi, Tokyo, Zama, and all down the line. And we, that's where we came back from, Japan. We had bodyguards. We had bodyguards. And uh, nobody can come within 10 feet of us without them knowing it. And they were at machine guns. Were, hey, we're not that important, that's it. Oh, yes, we are. You know? You're a Lakota coat talker. That's what you are. You're um, uh, more important than anything. We've got to protect you. 
there were two boys, I don't know if they're still alive or not, but those two boys were my bodyguards. And uh, one of them said, uh, his name was Chula, uh, Ron Chula. And uh, he was uh, uh, more or less uh, from Wisconsin. And this other boy was from uh, Nebraska. They knew, if they, people knew that uh, some old soldiers, you know, if they knew I was one of the cold targets, they'd probably kill me over there. But I was just one of the boys. You know. I wasn't supposed to be, you know, uh, in the firing line. You know, was uh, I had my radio, so, uh, and they, these guys uh, were all ready to fight, you know, ready to fire. And, was, uh, and one of them, uh, he said, uh, they think an Indian is superior to anybody, but that isn't true at all. Just one time, uh, uh, when we was overseas and coming back, you know, I, uh, I guess uh, some people know that we were cold talkers. So uh, I, I got off the gangplank and I put my duffel bag down and uh, my helmet and uh, the rifle against it. And, uh, I knelt down along the beach in San Pedro Harbor in California. I knelt down and I kissed the ground. わかんかんか。だれね、いかしたって死んで甘いんだけど、ウォーピラチャンカ。え、ちゃいよ。だこう、え、ね、落ちてあげ、かけ、落ちてあげ。え、ペンへな、え、ほれた、に差し引き。わ